All right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. As we've been saying that uh, yesterday, the SABC launched its review of the corporation's current editorial policies. Audiences and staff are the two um, of the SABC's uh, primary stakeholders and the interim board will be embarking on a national roadshow to engage with those two groups. South Africans are also encouraged to familiarize themselves with uh, the current policies by logging onto our website www.sabc.co.za to allow for robust conversation as well as contribution when the roadshow comes to your area. Let us take this conversation further with uh, the deputy chairperson of the SEBC's interim board, uh, Matata Zedu. He joins us from our studios in Johannesburg. And Tata Zedu, good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. No, morning. Now, for the benefit of our viewers, why the need to review the editorial policies? Um, the Broadcast Act um, and joins the SABC to constantly review its policies every five years. So this was tried in 2013 um, and last year when it was being implemented certain changes were brought in that were not included in the public participation process and ICASA then kicked uh, uh, the yeah. amendments out. So <coughs> now we are faced with a situation where the policies that are in place are the policies of 2004. Those policies uh, are okay in certain respects, but they don't take into consideration significant technological developments that have happened. The platforms that uh, SABC uh, operates on now are quite manifold. Um, way back then you had maybe one website uh, the radio and television but now we have many websites we have social uh, media social media um, uh, facebook's and all of these things and we don't have policies that govern how you when you are operating on your own facebook as an employee of the SABC, whatever you say there, how do, how do we deal with what you say there mm. if it may impact on the SABC? Okay. We can't just leave all these things hanging in the air, so we need to know how to deal with those things. But m more than that, this is also an opportunity for everyone, all South Africans, because the SABC belongs to all of us, to make inputs about how they think the SABC should conduct itself right. uh, in, in broadcasting material. All right, so the, rev the review, it's not necessarily only based on the 9010 local content like many people would think and the banning of uh, visuals that show protests. So it's a holistic review. Yeah, the, in, in fact, those, those, those things were were not uh, mm -hmm. uh, really part of uh, 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 the, the, the policies because they were just regulations that were imposed, yeah. uh, uh, even without board approval. And that were also rejected by CASA. Yeah, they were rejected by CASA. All right. So, but wh what contributions specifically that they do would you want our audiences to, to, to put forward? We know that we have about six policies, mm -hmm. six editorial policies. What is it that you're looking for? We, we want South Africans to say, for example, let's, let's take the issue around violence. To what extent should the SABC be able to show violent scenes on our screens? Um, now, if we say we want them to go up to this point, to what extent does that become censorship? So the fine line that must define sufficient information for South Africans to see what is happening and not too much encroachment to a point where you're denying South Africans the right to know what is actually happening. There are things like um, the display of dead bodies, for example, uh, on our screens. Uh, do South Africans think that that should happen if, if we are doing it? Um, the, the policies deal also with educational matters. What kind of educational material do South Africans think the SABC as a public broadcaster should be uh, um, uh, broadcasting? Religious issues. Uh, we have a religious policy that is part of these policies. Uh, as you can see throughout the country, there's a shift towards away from uh, the dominance of Christianity. Schools must no longer uh, um, be uh, centers where in the morning kids just recite Christian uh, uh, um, uh, prayers. Yeah. So 
all of those things affect how we as the national public broadcaster operate and we want South Africans to make their inputs. Even the issue of language, quite yeah. an, a sensitive one. Yeah, uh, how, 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 how do we deal with uh, uh, language issues? If we say only official languages, how do we deal with the Khoi and San yeah. uh, and all the other languages in the country that are not uh, deemed as official? All of those things, South Africans need to make their voices heard and we'll be moving around the country, all provinces, uh, <clears throat> to hear people. They can phone into uh, various radio uh, uh, shows, mm -hmm. uh, uh, onto uh, television shows. They can write into uh, uh, our digital platforms. All that information will be collated and be considered when new policies are gazetted. All right. And in terms of the timelines, uh, when are you expecting the process to be completed? Uh, towards the end of uh, August. Okay. Uh, we, we, we will complete the, uh, the road shows and then a process of collating all the information will begin. By that time, the interim board, us, will be ma making our way out, out of yeah. here. Uh, but a new board will come in, they will find that work has already been done and they can continue with that work. And in terms of, uh, you know, going around the different provinces here in South Africa, do we have the financial capacity to do so? I mean, with uh, the kind of financial state the CBC is? We, we, <coughs> we have, um, uh, as a board, decided that all the key things that are necessary, uh, we will find the money for. And this is important, uh, uh, and there is a budget to do this. So are we out of the red as yet? Not, not really. Uh, we, we, we have asked for a guarantee from uh, Treasury, which would allow us to go to the banks to, to get a loan. Uh, <clears throat> when that happens, uh, we will then be able to operate more normally than we are doing now. Okay. But. Uh, <coughs> The, the ship is afloat. Uh, there are no problems. All right. As you said in the that uh, the board will be making its way out uh, in September. Mm -hmm. In terms of restoring the integrity of the SAPC, are mm -hmm. you satisfied so far as, as the interim board? We, we, uh, the breakdown of confidence of the public in the SABC was a process that took quite some time. Yeah. And rebuilding that uh, relationship with the public is also going to be a process. Yeah. We have started that. We have held meetings with uh, particularly the news department, for example, because that is the center where the independence of the SABC is judged by the, the public. Mm -hmm. So we, we have made it quite clear to the news department that whatever unethical orders that used to come from wherever yeah. whether it was the board or the executive of the SABC yeah. that it's over all right and People I, I know that you've been I know you've, you've been visiting the different provinces mm -hmm. what is the staff morale like People are quite uh, um, um, jovial okay. around the issue that the interim board is um, taking all the steps that we have taken to restore right. the integrity of the SABC. All right, and that's it. We'll leave it at that, but I believe the public can go to our website for more information on the roadshows, of course, and how they can contribute. Indeed. All right, www.sabc.co.za. You can also uh, send an email, editorial at sabc.co.za, 011-714-9111. It's the number that you can dial uh, for more information in relation to the editorial policies and how far you can go in terms of uh, contributing to them. All right, it's seven o'clock. Time for your news.